All right, so the first thing you want to do is get your row finder, straight edge, whatever you're going to use to make a straight line across the seam. And you want to get it as close to the middle of the seam as possible. I'm going to be doing a carpet stretch here, so it doesn't have to be exact, but just as close to the middle as you can get it. And I use my top cutter, but you can use a blade, a utility knife, whatever you're comfortable with, but just make sure that you're staying in the path that you traced already and just make your cut. And no matter what, when you're doing um, a carpet repair like this, where you're going to undo a seam and then redo it on the same spot, most of the time it's not going to look beautiful, brand new. So uh, just explain that to the customer before you get into it and you'll be fine. So now we have the carpet split in half. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my iron and start heating the seam on one end. And just like you're installing carpet, you just the same amount of time maybe about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you just heat the tape from the back of the carpet and make your way down. And it's best to kind of push the carpet onto the iron so that way it's all on, on the iron. And then you um, just pull the tape and what I like to do is kind of roll it so that way you're not just getting your fingers in all that glue. Um, it's a little warm, it's not super hot to where you'll burn yourself but if you're not used to it, it's gonna hurt a little bit. But as long as you just take your time and not try to rush through it, you'll be fine. It's much easier than if you're working a, a new seam. Uh, this you have a little more time to play with. And that's it. Now you can do the same on the other side. Do your stretch and make your new seam. And this is what the carpet looked like before I had to stretch it and clean it. Um, it's a very, very tedious layout. There's so many corners and cuts, so when you have to stretch, it can get pretty frustrating. But um, luckily, this is a builder's grade carpet, so I was able to manipulate it and work with it and actually only do one seam, this one right here. And here's the carpet after stretching. Uh, luckily, most of the ripples were kind of more wavy instead of really sharp, so when they're wavy like that, like a bubble, and you stretch it out, you'll most likely never see that there was a ripple. But when they're really sharp, that's when after you're stretching, you're still going to notice a crease. Um, so on this job, it turned out really nice. Alright, and that's it. Everything's cleaned, stretched, ready to go. And um, it was a pretty small job, but sometimes these small jobs can turn into a large job, especially if it's a hallway or something really hard to stretch and figure out how to do it. So uh, hopefully this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.